What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another Hybrid News Now. Happy DC Rebirth Day, guys. I'm not gonna be talking about it on the HNN today, but I will be talking about it tonight on the Super Friends that we're recording that'll go up sometime tomorrow. So if you're looking for a discussion about that and all the new things that it means for the DC Universe, be sure to give that a look. But we do have a lot of other news to discuss. So first up, another relaunch of Marvel's comic universe coming later this year, a big confirmation from Jeff Johns and another shakeup over at WB in the wake of Batman v Superman. But in an h and first, let's start off our day talking Marvel Comics. Less than a year after the launch of Marvel's all new, all different initiative, the comics giant has announced that, well, they're just gonna start it all over again. Yep, Marvel officially announced today in a press release that this fall they're going to be bringing back Marvel Now, which originally started way back in 2012 after Avengers vs. X-Men. Now, as of yet, kind of unlike the DC Rebirth situation, we have zero official details other than what we've gotten from Marvel themselves. In a press release put out today by the company, they promised all new blockbuster titles and new status quos for many of their characters. And what that all means remains to be seen, but honestly, is this even really necessary? I'm kind of left wondering whether this is a response or if it's reactionary at all to what DC's doing with Rebirth and all the hype that they've got surrounding that. Marvel wants to talk about changing status quos. Well, okay, here's a changing status quo for you. As comicbook.com notes, this is sadly kind of the new norm in the industry. I mean, DC had the new 52 and then followed it up last year with the new DCU. And then this year, they've of course put out Rebirth less than a year later. And Marvel, good Lord, Marvel has had Marvel Now in 2012, then all new Marvel Now, then Avengers Now, then all new, all different Marvel. And now I guess we're just getting Marvel Now again. And of course, I will withhold all actual judgment until we actually have details, but honestly, in my opinion, as a longtime comic book reader, it's kind of sad to see the industry coming to this. And I understand it's a tough time for print media in general, across the board, not just comic books, newspapers as well. They're dying out everywhere, but that's a video for another time. Let me know what you think of this move in the comments section below. And in our second story today, let's jump off the page and wander on over to the DCEU, where after almost a year of speculation, Jeff Johns has a major confirmation that he has announced. In speaking to comicbook.com about DC's Rebirth event that just launched today, the conversation naturally shifted to what Johns is doing over at DC Films and his kind of nebulous job as DC's chief creative officer. Now, he wouldn't confirm or deny the THR report that he and John Berg are now running the show over at DC Films, but he did drop a little tidbit that a lot of DC fans should be very excited for. He officially confirmed that he is working on the Batman solo movie with Ben Affleck. And a lot of you are probably going, really? Because we first heard that about a year ago when El Maimbe reported that it was a possibility. But yes, now it is official. It is officially official. But this is nice. I mean, Johns is an incredible writer. It's great to see him kind of increasing his role in the DCEU, and that actually leads us to our next story. To round out our day, we're sticking in the DCEU, and yep, we're gonna talk about a little bit more Batman v Superman Fallout. The Hollywood Reporter revealed yesterday that Charles Roven, a producer over at WB who's been involved with every single DC film's property since Batman Begins back in 2005, will officially be shifting roles. The report only really said that he won't be involved with specific DC films, but does continue on to say that he will and can be involved with sequels for projects that he's already worked on, like Justice League or Suicide Squad or even Wonder Woman coming out later next year. But the report does continue on to say that he's not being ousted He's not getting the boot. He's probably just stepping back into a more nebulous executive producer role and he won't have the hands-on producer job that he had for the last 10 years. So the big question on your minds, what does this mean and why is CJ talking about it? Well, this is just another shakeup in the wake of Batman v Superman's critical and financial reception. You see, Roven wasn't just any producer. He was part of DC's creative round table that kind of charted the course for the DCEU. And this, along with reports of John's increased role in DC films, could just be the first of many more aftershocks to come. So of course, let me know what you think about all that, but that brings us to the end of another hybrid news. Now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day and consider supporting us on Patreon for access to all sorts of exclusive goodies. Signing off, this is CJ and I'll see you tomorrow.